So why the need to update and add? Well, yeah, David, thank you uh, for having me on again. Good morning. I, you're right. We have had a plan. We've had goals uh, in sustainability, environmental leadership. We're excited about the announcements we're making today. And, and I would say the commitments and the goals that are behind that, that build on some of the goals that we have been targeting over the last decade. And it's really to step up our leadership, to invest a billion dollars over the next 20 years to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, and importantly, bend the curve and make a difference in the, in the beginning of that, that time period, really to step into it and make a difference and improve on our greenhouse gas emissions. And, and likewise, bending the curve on our water use, 10% reduction in 2022, 20% in 2025, longer goal, 25% by 2030, making investments and returning higher quality, more uh, better quality water from the use in our manufacturing. So it's a, these are a step up on those goals that we laid out over the last decade that we've been targeting and we've been on track to in, for our 2025 goals. This is, this is a big step up from that. Yeah, it is, and it's, and it's a notable one, uh, and I would assume one that will be lauded by many. But again, I wonder, and please answer, why? Well, this is, this is something that's critical to 3M. It's, it's long been a fundamental value of 3M to be a leader in sustainability. It's critical to our customers, to our employees, to our shareholders, and certainly to the communities that we're part of. We're a manufacturer, a global manufacturer. We have manufacturing operations in 29 states in the United States. This is something that, that has been a hallmark of 3M, a value for us, a leadership responsibility. It's been important to our business and our business success. It's been uh, critical as a manufacturer that we are eliminating waste and providing leadership and sustainability. It's, it is something that we expect of ourselves and certainly our, our stakeholders broadly expect of us as well. Does it blunt the criticism of the company or at least the concern among some in terms of something we've asked you about many times, PFAS, uh, the water pollution and things of that nature? Well, this is, this is broader than PFAS. Although I would say it's another example of what I talk about around PFAS is proactively managing, proactively managing PFAS, proactively managing our environmental responsibilities. It's, it means doing things, going beyond what is expected, going beyond our regulatory requirements, stepping up, provide leadership. It's one of the best ways we can manage PFAS and some of the, some of the uncertainty around that is get out in front of it, proactively manage with these goals, reducing our water use, improving water quality, it's, it's really important. It helps us with PFAS. It helps us more broadly in our, in our environmental goals. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.